My life is about connecting with God and helping others find peace in God's grace. How do we find that peace? By surrendering to God's commandments to love one another, to be kind and merciful to all people and all life on earth. The clerics I know, regardless of creed or denomination, all share this life-affirming view. It should be the basis for all public policy. Too often, it's not. These days, our system is rigged to serve the rich and powerful. They use their wealth and influence to put profit and self-interest ahead of the common good. The primary business of clerics like me is to nurture souls, but we must also provide leadership against the real world forces corrupting our lives and causing so much misery. We are doing God's work when we resist illicit corporate influence in our political process. The solution is clear. We must support a constitutional amendment that says corporations are not people. Constitutional rights are for human beings, not corporations. The amendment should also say that money is not a form of speech. We cannot allow wealthy elites to use their power to corrupt our political process. Where this issue is concerned, all religions are part of a common community. We must join together to support a 28th constitutional amendment that says corporations are not people and money is not speech.